The Nigeria in Diaspora Commission has warned Nigerian parents to shun sending their children to Northern Cyprus for schooling. This was the as the chairperson of the commission, Abike Dabidi Erewa, received a petition from the Chief Justice of the Kaduna State High Court and who happens to be the mother of murdered 25-year-old Khalil Ibrahim, demanding justice. The grief-stricken justice, Amina Bello, says... Accounts given to her of her son's debt is suspicious and does not add up. We, we are going to write the names of the universities out, put them in the public domain. It's not even about the universities, about that country itself. No Nigerian parent, I'm appealing to you, should send your children to Northern Cyprus, to any university in Northern Cyprus. There's a collaboration which we still don't understand that makes them kill blacks, particularly our Nigerian students who are usually the most. So we we'll work with you, madam, to ensure that we demand justice, not only for Ibrahim, but for all those students that have been killed. And tell every parent, please, forget about going to school in Northern Cyprus. Yes, our country has challenges. Yes, there's strike. Yes, you don't know where you finish. But there are some of these universities that, I mean, you'll always regret that you even went to. Yes. And then what we also tell students again, I want to use this video, wherever you go for your education, just report at the mission. Let the mission know that you are there, particularly students. You may need them, you may not need them. But there will be a time too that they can know that we have this. I'm sure the mission does not even know particularly how many students we have in other Cyprus. Because students don't go there to register. As soon as we reach the school, the registrar of the school, you know, she was kind of nonchalant. She was even smoking her cigarette. She just looked at me and said, sorry, that is what happened. Um, they, they, then quickly the police came in. They took me to another room, a, a, a man and a lady, the IPO. They now started telling me that uh, uh, my son fell from a seven-story building. I said, how? They said he was homeless. Do you know that he was homeless? I said, even if he's, he was homeless, is that a reason that he will kill himself? I said, look, Nigerians, we don't just kill ourselves. More so, Northerners, Muslims. They know the implication of uh, suicide. And for what? And normally, if you are going to commit suicide, you leave a note and give a reason for your action. But I don't even believe my son committed any suicide. 